Hi there. My name is Jenny Ray, and I'd like to welcome you to the OSF Pathways to Health program. Thanks for taking a few minutes to learn what the program is all about and how you can get started on your path. Before we take a single step, we need to know just where we're going. So let's first lay out the expectations and set some realistic goals. At your first appointment with us, you should have received a handbook. Open your book to the tab labeled Goals and Tracking and think about this first question. What are your health goals? Let's forget about the scale for a moment and make a list of whys. Why did you start this program? What do you specifically want to change about your health? Maybe you want to feel better, have more energy, less pain, or feel more confident. What do you want to do that you can't do now? Maybe you want to improve something specific like your blood sugars, blood pressure, cholesterol, or strength. Write this down on page one and feel free to pause the video if you need to. Take a look at the list of things that you want to improve. Did you know that you can improve many of these things just by losing 5 to 10% of your current weight? Higher amounts of weight loss may require the use of meal replacements, medication, or possibly weight loss surgery. But remember, and you can read this part right along with me, good health is not dependent only on your weight. People can be healthy at many different shapes and sizes. When you make changes to eat healthy and be more active, you might achieve many of your health goals with only a modest change in your weight. If you turn to page two in your book, you will see a chart to help you track your progress. Please take some time today to fill out the baseline section of this chart. Enter things that you'd like to measure, such as your energy level, strength, or sleep quality. Add any measurements or lab work that you have, including blood pressure, cholesterol, or body composition numbers. You can find those on your CICA test results. You'll notice that weight is only one line on this page. If you're too focused on that number, it can be easy to give up when you don't see the exact number you're looking for. All of the markers that you track on this chart means much more than the number on the scale. Be sure to check back in and update this chart at three months, six months, nine months, and one year to watch your progress. Now that we've established some realistic goals and expectations, let's get started with some action. Turn to page three in your book to find a landing page for your action steps. Here, you can write down small steps that you can take to improve your hydration, nutrition, exercise, mental health, rest, or anything else that you'd like to do for better self-care in general. Now, before you start writing, remember that persistence is key. There isn't one giant leap that will get you there. Your actions should be small and achievable. So don't write something in every line. Pick one thing that you want to work on and write that down. There will be time to add more later, but we have to start with just one step. The next several pages in the goals and tracking section of your book are for you to check in with yourself prior to your scheduled follow-up visits. How are you doing in each of the main areas of wellness? What would you like to do differently in the next month? This helps to guide your action steps and brings about any good discussion points that you can share in your group meetings. Lastly, this section of the book holds a few food and activity logs. If you aren't sure where to start with your goals, then it can help to write down what you're currently doing. Be a student of your own habits. After writing down your food, beverages, and activity for a week, review what you wrote. What do you see? What changes do you want to make? Then add those to your action steps. So what's next? Now that you've had some realistic goals and expectations and you've started thinking about your current habits, let's dip our toes into some more education. In addition to your monthly scheduled appointments, you have the opportunity to learn more about nutrition, exercise, stress, and sleep by reading through our website, watching the video links, and tapping into our recipe library. Next up in our introductory series, you will find five videos that cover the basics on good hydration, safe exercise, simple meal planning, and taking the first steps to getting started with exercise. More video links will follow. Thanks for listening.